More powerful testimony today in the trial of Derek Chauvin. Some of his former colleagues took the stand and testified against him. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. He was perhaps one of the most crucial witnesses to take the stand so far in the Derek Chauvin trial. Today, a senior Minneapolis police officer condemning Chauvin's actions during that deadly encounter last May. Putting your knee on the neck for that amount of, uh, that amount of time is just... Um, uncalled for. Lieutenant Richard Zimmerman, head of the homicide unit, calling the force deadly and unnecessary, saying he saw no reason for the officers to feel threatened. Have you ever, in all the years you've been working for the Minneapolis Police Department, uh, been trained to kneel on the neck of someone who is handcuffed behind their back in a prone position? No, I haven't. That can kill him. Defense attorney Eric Nelson pressing Zimmerman in his cross examination. Uh, in a fight for your life, you as an officer are allowed to use whatever force is reasonable and necessary, correct? Yes. The defense arguing Floyd's drug use contributed to his death. His girlfriend, Courtney Ross, saying they both battled chronic pain and became addicted to opioids. Was your belief that Mr. Floyd started using again? about two weeks prior to his death, correct? I noticed a change in his behavior, yes. She also painted a more complete picture of who Floyd was as a person, explaining he loved sports, the outdoors, and more than anything, his family, saying he was never the same after his mother died. He seemed kind of like a shell of himself. Like he was, like he was broken. Court adjourned early today for the holiday weekend, but we'll be back in session Monday morning.